Welcome one, welcome all to another Remnant video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to fix the unable to connect to friends bug that's been happening since the August 26th update. Allow me to demonstrate. Click on join game, find friend games. Now, this would happen. Boop. It would just boot me out. There was Give me the session connection lost and the network connection lost. Now, before any of you comment, our internet is perfectly fine. We have gone through, we've tried resetting the router, the modem, restarting our PCs, making sure our ports were forwarded, and we've also verified the, uh, the files. The files, thank you. We've done all of that, and none of those potential solutions would work. Though, if you would just keep trying over and over and over again for as long as an hour, occasionally it would stick and you'd stay in the game. Perfect example. Uh, Alright, I had the chat log right here. So, in order to originally get me to stick inside of his game, we would have to do, well, this. He would have to spam me with invites. I'd have to click them as fast as I possibly could just to get it to stick. It was what, like maybe a point two percent chance you'd stick something like that <clears throat> yeah which is honestly then, so, then one time it booted you after an hour yep like what the hell now in terms of games randomly booting you i do not know if this fix will prevent that but this fix will at least allow you to join your friends games and that fix is actually extremely simple and, and we, how we figured it out was basically a friend of ours was playing this game and he said that he noticed that he would crash every time he would hit the push to talk button. Which is one of the features that they added on the August 26th update. And Farron found a basically a tutorial or a guide showing how to disable the push to talk and I don't think enough people have really figured out that that is what's actually causing the crash or the unable to join as well. Yeah. So, in order to fix it, all you're going to do, go ahead and close out of your game, go down to your search bar, and type in percent local app data percent reverse slash remnant, and then you can just hit enter and navigate it from there. Click on saved, config, Windows no editor, and you're going to open up this file right here where it says engine. Let me go ahead and drag this over so you can see it, and this is what it will look like. Now, in the description below will be copy-pasted codes so you can easily do this so you don't have to worry about typing anything. And you're going to paste that little line right there into this. And then you're going to hit File, and then hit Save. And then you're going to close out of that. Now, one thing I do recommend doing is before you actually edit this engine, right-click it, click Copy, and then right-click in here, and click paste. I don't have that option right now because I don't have anything copied to my clipboard, but it will make a copy of your engine. You do want to keep a copy of it just in case. I probably wouldn't copy it in that file. Well, there's a reason why I renamed it. Oh yeah, if you rename it, that's so, no problem. Just to show again, <laughs> this is now added to my engine. Actually, let me make sure that's not a space. Okay. And now we'll open Remnant again. Cue the Jeopardy music. Exactly. And yes, there is a way to disable all those opening things, but I just haven't done it yet. Now, find friend games. And look at that. First try. Rather than having to sit there and try connecting to his game for over an hour... Dude, that was disgusting. This thing, this little fix prevents that issue from happening. Now, yes, that does mean that you can no longer use push to talk inside of your game. There will be no button that you can press that will enable your microphone so you can chat with people in game. Hey, but at least you can play the damn thing. At least you can play it. <laughs> that is the main thing. I am hoping that the developers see this and realize that there is some form of bug with this and they put out a hotfix for it. 
because honestly, it's extremely frustrating. The past two days have been nightmare fuel inducing whenever it comes to trying to play this game. Also, disconnect and reconnect a few times just so, you know, anyone watching this can be like, oh, so it's not just a fluke. You know, he just happened to get in that like one time in 0.2% chance. Because, I mean, we haven't tested it absolutely thoroughly, but, what, 5 out of 5 or 6 out of 6, something like that, it's joined every time? Yep, without any issues. Then the other benefit about doing this fix is, sure, don't get me wrong, you lose push to talk. But I it also means anyway. that you're not going to accidentally tap your push to talk button and then disconnect from the game. <laughs> Our friend Tolson had his key bound, the push to talk button, and every time he would press it, it would instantaneously disconnect him. He's the one who told us that that was the thing causing the bug. Yep. I kept wondering why he was in the game for like, you know, long periods of time after actually getting in and then just pop, he disconnects. So I'm like, oh crap, again. And then that's how he figured it out. But yes, to my knowledge, this is currently the best fix for this bug for those of you who are experiencing it. Not everybody does. Yeah, I didn't experience it. Like, I could join other people's games just fine. Mm -hmm. Though I never had a webcam plugged into my computer after installing this game at all, period. Because you have my webcam microphone. Mm -hmm. So, for those of you that this does help, please leave a like, feel free to comment as well if this does indeed help you. And for more content like this, please consider subscribing. It would be heavily appreciated. But at the end of the day, I just hope that helps y'all with this bug because it's been, like I said, infuriating for the past couple of days. It really has been. Oh, anyway, yeah. we will see y'all in the next video. Enjoy.